Good evening. I want to quickly show you how I write a Cypress test to check these methods on my API. And so remember we have that concept of a post, not an HTTP method post. A post is a post, a web post, like a web blog. It's a post and a post has a post text and you can do put posts or deletes, put posts or deletes and those are protected. That means that you have to be authenticated to do that. And so if we look at my um, sample real quick, we can see we have the authorized attribute on this put. We have the authorized attribute on this post. We have the authorized attribute on this delete. You have to be authenticated from Auth0 to do these things. And so the risk is, is that someone will delete this and a person, well, I'm sorry, could delete this authorized attribute and get through. And I don't ever want anyone checking in my code where this website doesn't have to be authorized. So what I want to show you is how I do that in Cypress. And there may be better ways. You probably do this with Postman too, but I'm showing you how I did it in Post in Cypress. And so here's the magic right here, this function right here. This is what you probably need to be focused on. You can change it for your own use. You can see I'm making a request call here and I pass in the method in this function. So in this case, let's just say it's a post. So this method will be post. I'm changing fail on status code to false. This is important because you need to say, hey, don't fail if we get a bad status code. You're expecting to get a 401. That's a bad status code. So you need to say false so you're, it just doesn't fail. You want to get through. And then you pass in the URL. In this case, my URL are those URLs I just showed you in Swagger. I'm grabbing that here out of my environment variable and I'm passing that in right here. And I'm saying, hey, make that request then grab the response and I expect the response status to equal 401 and I expect the response status text to equals unauthorized. So let's just run that test really quick and I'll show you. So if I refresh this, we'll see that all of that ran green. Okay, so here's, here's the risk. Let's say someone comes in here and they remove this for some reason because they're testing or they're in development and they don't want to deal with the authorized. They forget to do it. They check it in. Now it's out there live and we're just doing this on localhost. So it's going to refresh and it's probably going to go to my swagger. Now, when I run these Cypress tests, I should fail because I'm like, hey, someone removed something. So right away, you can see it failed. It's saying, hey, I expected to get a 401 and I did not. Something's not right. You sh this should always be... Um, I should always get a 401 when I call this without a token. So let's put that back. Oh, I broke something. Don't do that, Michael. Let's put that back. And I'm going to refresh this. And then if we come out and we run our test again, we will see that this test will pass. Oh, you put it back. Now, obviously, I'm not always going to be running that from the command line. I mean, from the, U, um, the IDE, from the Cypress, uh, I guess the open, the graphic part with Chrome or Edge or Electron. I want to run it from the command line. So I'm going to run NPM run API. And you can see that if I was doing something and I came here and ran my tests, I might learn that I broke something. So right now it's running green. So let's go back and let's, let's remove this again. Let's um, refresh this. Then let's run that from the command line. This should fail. And so we'll go NPM run API. And we should get a failure. And come on, fail. There it is. So I just got a failed, and I know I just broke something. And so that's how I do it. Let's actually put this code back. Fresh this. Go over it really quickly for you one more time. Okay. So it's very simple. See if I can blow this up for you and make this a little bit bigger. Because this is the magic right here. We'll make this 175. Uh, let's not make it that big. Let's make it 100 and make it 130%. So it's big. Okay. Right here. Move this down so you can see the code. This is the magic right here. This is what you need to know. You'll have to change it for your use. You go cy.request. Pass in this configuration object that has a method on it. And this method would be the post, the put, the delete. Fail on status code. You, this has to be false because if you don't, the Cypress test will just fail because it got a real failure. So you want to say, don't fail on it. I want to, I'm going to be doing something on the response. Let's change this to response. 
Okay. And so you say you pass in the URL. I believe I did have to pass in the body, but I'm not passing anything. I don't care because I expect to get a 401. Is when I make this call, I should get a 401. So I say expect the response dot status to equal 401. And I'm also checking that the expect response dot status text is equal to unauthorized. And that's basically it. And I'll run this one more time from the command line. And we will see that it should run green this time. And so that's it. I'll try to improve on this video. This was actually my practice video, but I think it went pretty well. So we'll just release this. Let's see, did we do it in the allotted time? Oh no, I, I think it cut my timer off. So we'll see. Hopefully this video is under six minutes. I love y'all. Talk to you like later. This is Michael, Profit Dream.